A Confederacy of Dunces by John Kennedy Toole. This novel has a very interesting backstory. It won the Pulitzer Prize in 1981, a dozen years after the author's suicide. The main character is Ignatius J. Riley, a pompous, arrogant, and enormous 30-year-old man who is highly educated but still living with his mother, Irene, in her house in New Orleans in the early 1960s. When they run into financial trouble, Ignatius' mother forces him to get a job. Ignatius, who spends most of, a day, most of his days lazing around in his bedroom, passing gas, or trying to write stories on his big chief tablets, sees most work as beneath him. He first takes a job as an office assistant who tries to stage a factory worker revolution, then as a hot dog vendor in the French Quarter of New Orleans. While he professes outrage at most things, Ignatius seems to be driven by the desire to impress Myrna, a young woman from New York who he knew in college and frequently writes letters with. A Confederacy of Dunces taps into the language, the music, and the colorful characters of New Orleans French Quarter, and many believe this is the best work of fiction about that fantastic southern city. Check out A Confederacy of Dunces.